Here's the spring this morning. And speaking of saying yes, that happened in Minnesota. Uh, there was a new police officer being sworn in. And uh, when Manny Matos, he had quite the trick up his sleeve. It's a tradition to have a loved one on stage yes. to sort of pin the badge on somebody. Yeah, this is a very special moment for police officers. And, you know, I really love this story because he turned his special moment into, into their yeah. special moments. Right. You know, police officers work so hard to pass the test, move up the ranks. This is a big moment for them. And it really just warms my heart that yeah. this man decided to turn it into their moment. And Many milestones all in one day. Many he, he graduated, milestones. he got engaged. Right. Let him never forget the day that they proposed, obviously. Because how great is that? He moved up in his career, and now he's watching his life move up. Very heartwarming. And, and from marriage to babies, that might be the next <laughs> step for them. And that was the case in North Carolina, uh, where this couple and the baby really beat some incredible odds. So London Hall was born on the same day as both of her parents. And uh, she beat the 48 million to one odds and was born on the exact same day as both of her parents, London and her mom and dad, were all born January 27th. And add to all of the coincidences, <laughs> uh, she was born on the 27th in 2017 and is now resting comfortably in room 207. We, we see a connection here. Yeah, you know, I have friends who have kids with the same birthday and I always think that that is just so rare. I mean, what are the chances Very, of that happening? Yeah. But for this baby to be born on the same day as both of the parents. Yeah. That is just I, I think crazy. we should use them to help pick lotto numbers in the future. I, I yes. think they might have a little gift there. Yeah, we should Lucky go play 27. 27, that's <laughs> yeah. it. What All right, speaking know? of our babies, I love this one. Alaska is the first state when it comes to custody of our fur babies. Uh -huh. You don't always think about this when you're going through divorce. It's a terrible time, but this state is actually going to be taking into consideration the welfare of your pets when a couple gets divorced. The, allow, the law does allow for legal joint custody of a pet. You know how pets can be. So I don't have kids, but you I don't. do have you, my dog. You have, right. So it's kind of like a prenup, right? They, they have, <laughs> you know, the, the uh, 401k, the insurance, and then the dog. That's you know, just... I feel like I would be like, take the house. I'm getting the dog. The dog. Yeah, the, you the can have everything. The, I, I hope your husband's not watching this right now. This is very, uh, this is very heated. For a, for a couple that we don't have kids, he knows we love, we hold our fur Benny, baby very right? close. Benny, Benny right? Yeah, yes. Yeah, well. <laughs> that would be a tough call. But isn't That's that interesting, interesting in yeah. Alaska that they're the first state to actually outline rules for that? I wonder if that'll happen here in Connecticut. Maybe. Mm, no. No? Okay. Well, maybe. I don't know. Who maybe knows? It's we possible. will have to stay tuned and uh, find out from uh, dogs to cats, of course. We have to give cats some love this morning, sure. Laura, right? There's a new mm -hmm. Japanese study that finds that cats, great news for you cat lovers, are just as good at memory tests as dogs are, suggesting uh, that they might be just as smart. This, as a cat owner, I, I have to agree. Yeah, see, yeah. now you have a cat, so we yeah. can talk about that. You know, this kind of makes me laugh, though, because cats can be as smart, they but they choose might choose not, not to. to <laughs> yeah, I mean, typically that's the case. They, they tested 49 different cats on their memory skills, and uh, that's what they're saying. But I, I get, as a cat owner, I get kind of... Uh, a little worked up when they say that that cats don't have the same emotional connection to humans as dogs do. You, you think they do? My cat. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, I think my cat isn't. A, I, I think my cat's like a human in, in another life or something. I mean, they're they're so. Yeah. He's so affectionate and so my, caring. My brother-in-law actually trained his cat to like fist bump. Like, do a little paw, and like, yeah, and he does it. I, I, think I we, kid you not. Can we bring the cat on the show? But actually train the cat. I'll see if I can get a video or something oh, of nice it at some point. Thing. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> and uh, an Arkansas woman recently turned 104 and celebrated her birthday in a little bit of an unusual setting. Not, a a not, bit of unique. Not a restaurant. It wasn't Chuck E. Cheese. In it, aisle 12, essentially. It was in yeah. aisle 12 of Walmart. <laughs> there she is. Yes. So apparently, she absolutely... Absolutely loves Walmart, visits often, and the associates there decided to throw their favorite customer a surprise birthday party. And how about that? There wasn't a dry eye in the room when Why she not? walked in. It was actually held in the store's break room, though, not aisle 12. Oh, but man. Your, yours made it more funny. Well, <laughs> I, I, I hear ours is going to be at a Dollar Tree coming up next year. So oh, really? Stay tuned for that. Yeah, okay. It should be fun. <laughs> All right, politics, football teams aside, there seems to be one thing that most people can agree on yeah. these days, and that is 
bacon. bacon. How much do we love bacon? We love bacon. We've been talking about it for like an hour this morning when preparing the show. How, how to prepare the bacon. So, so your hubby has a unique way to prepare bacon that he thinks is, is the perfect We think it's combo. pretty foolproof. 400 degrees for 20 minutes on a baking sheet and it's yeah. not as greasy. It's not. It okay. comes out perfect to us at least. But so, I, so what happens to all the grease? Is it just evaporate? Well, or? you put it on, on a uh, foil and oh. yeah, you're able to, the grease is just, just not, okay. it's not like in a pan where it's drenched when you pick it See, up. See, I'm, I'm all about the grease. I think that's part of the fun, like okay. the grandma's bacon, it's all dripping with grease yes. and you got to put it on the paper towel. So everything. our perfect is not your perfect. Okay, well, but. <laughs> perfect in our own minds, but, but maybe this new invention can uh, sort of help us meet halfway here. So this is a bacon toaster. Yes, it's a real thing. So you drape the bacon slices on top and it bakes or cooks at the perfect temperature apparently and then all the grease just kind of hangs out there in the pan so that might be the best of both worlds if possibly i don't know a post bacon maker i think we should buy one test it out here in the studio <laughs> in the kitchen we uh, does do it whole, really work does it we'll have to find out <laughs>